When life gives you so much and yet you feel life has taken everything away from you. Life is about happiness and sorrows. A time to laugh and a time to cry. When these moments come, it defines who you are. Like I said, that is traveling and he's gonna come back in a few days, okay? All right? Good morning, how are you? All right. Daddy has to work, honey. For how long are you staying? Um, four days in Kumasi and four in Cape Coast. That is eight days. My entire school contest is in six days. Yes, uh, that is true. Okay, you know what? That is gonna go for six days so that he can come and watch his little princess show. How about that? Are you sure you're going to come? How would he miss it for anything in this world, honey? Yeah, I love you too. Give me sugar. Mwah! Alright, All right, be, be good. Bye. Okay? Bye. Sir, look at this cover page. This is not what you asked for. I thought I asked you to handle this. Yeah, but uh, without any authorization from you, there's no way I could do anything. But I gave you the authorization. The publication company needed an authorization letter from you before. Is that what they asked you? Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Omar. My PA is telling me that you're asking for authorization for me before printing the next book. Is that true? Good. Well, there's no need. Okay, um, you're taking orders from him now. Understood. Okay. That is settled. What about the other publications? Yeah, sir. We have issued 10,000 copies right now. Oh. That's okay. That's, that's okay for now. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Don't make a way. Then why did you call? Look at your time, Alex. Oh, shit. We are in trouble. What trouble? Um, I want you to do something for me. What? Okay, um, I want you to tell mom that we went to the mall and that is why we are late. But we didn't go to the mall. <laughs> do you want some chocolate? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so you just tell mom that we went to the mall and this will be us. Deal. Okay, don't disappoint me. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Come on, don't give me that taste. Um, Della wanted to go to the mall and that is why we are late. <laughs> Hi, Della. Why do you say I should tell mom that? Anyway, thanks for the chocolate. It was really nice. <laughs> I have to go somewhere, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'll meet you up in eight minutes. I'll call you, okay? Bye. <laughs> Was that? Daddy's on the phone. Speak to him. Eh? Hello, Dad. Hey, honey. How are you? Good. I just got a big teddy bear. Oh, did mommy get it for you? No, auntie did. Which auntie? She says she's mom's friend and she's going to get me more toys. Oh, okay. That's nice. When are you coming home, Dad? Soon, honey. Good. I'm going to teach Max how to ride a bike. Who's Max? My new toy. You already gave it a name? Yes. I have to go. I got a lot of job to do. Bye bye. Love you. All right, love you too, baby. Go inside now. Which 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 of your friend is that? I couldn't see her face. I just saw her car here. I'm sure it's Mrs. Ankara. You know she's been sharing gifts to the kids since she lost her son. Uh, listen, don't let her take no more gifts from her, okay? Yes, sir. Anything else? Tell me you love me. I love you, babe. But I hate you. <laughs> I'll see you, baby. Hi, babe. Bye. I'll see you.
Christmas hat. Did Mrs. Anka give this to you? No. Then you did. I didn't ask her name, but she says she's your friend. Have you seen her before? No. You have a lot of friends. How am I supposed to know of them? Bella, have you seen her with me before? Oh, Mom, you worry too much. No, I have not seen her with you before. And please, don't ask me anything again. As you've seen, I'm busy here teaching Max. Stella, you're late. Where did you go? I was playing with a horse. Really? And who gave this to you? The one who gave me Max. She comes to your school too? Every day. Every day? Yes. Wait, stay. Don't Dala tells me a woman comes to visit her every day. Yes, Pearl Roberts. Pearl Roberts. She says she's family. Yes. But I don't know anyone by that name. But Dala seems to know her very well. But Dala is just a kid. What does she know? And you allow her to meet with her every day? I'm sorry, Mr. Chang. Mom, I'm getting late for dance class. I'm coming, sweetheart. Mm? Please, don't allow anyone to see me without me. Sure. Bella, now, how many times have I told you not to accept gifts from strangers? But Mom, she's not a stranger. I know her. You know her since when? Long time. What else does she talk to you about? My friends, me, dad and... Stop it, Stella. Come on, let's go. I didn't do anything wrong and mom shouted at me. I'm not talking to her. Come on, you're a big girl now. You don't have to, to cry over this little thing. Don't worry, give mommy the phone, let me scold her. Make sure it's a nice scolding and tell her to take me to my dance class. I'll tell her, just get ready. Give mommy the phone. <laughs> what happened? Do you know any Pearl Roberts? Well, if she's young and beautiful. Oh, come on, babe, I'm serious. Pearl Roberts? Uh, I don't think so. Um, Why? What happened? Well, she keeps meeting up with Della. And buys her expensive gifts. The school thought she was family. They actually allowed her to meet up with Della in the school. Wait, I don't understand. Who keeps meeting Della? Pearl Roberts. You remember when I told you a lady gave a gift to Della and I thought it might be a Janka? Yes. Well, it is this girl, Roberts. I don't know who she is and what she is for my baby. Oh, God, honey. Come on, this is nothing. She might probably just like her. I... Besides, you know how Della is. You cannot help but like her when she's around you. Oh, then why is she hiding from us? Babes, I think you're overreacting. She might probably be a friend who wants to surprise us. You know what, just relax, okay? So... Sooner or later, we'll find out who she is. Are you sure? Damn sure. All right. When are you coming in? A day after tomorrow. Babes, I miss you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know you miss me. You need to come back soon, right? I don't want to miss you. <laughs> I miss you too, baby. All right, I'll see you later, okay? All right, love you. <laughs> and I think I'm getting some shoes and bags. Yeah. But you... Are you sure? Hey, Alex. Hello, Miguel. Where are you? I'm home. What are you doing at home? I'm waiting for you, baby. <laughs> you are crazy. You are the cure. Alex, for once, can you be serious? I just took the lad to dance class. Do you mind joining us here? You see, you can't stay a minute without me. Why do you love me that much? My friend, you are not serious. Are you coming or not? I would love to, but... um. Lisa is here. Lisa is there? And you are talking all this rubbish. What's she going to think? She knows I'm kidding. Right, baby? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, send her my regards. I'll see you later then, okay? She sends her regards. Oh, okay. Hi. What next? <laughs> Alex, I'm going. Bye. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> you made it. I know you can stay a minute to go, so I have to call you. <laughs> You know, I don't understand why some women did celebrities. You are wrong, ma'am. My experience has been the opposite. Can you imagine? Hey, I chased some girl beyond for God knows how long. Charlie, she don't want grill. You're not serious, Alex. I'm damn serious. What about Lisa? You don't love her? Shh. Alex, do not waste her time. I think it's high time you found yourself a nice girl and got married too. Will you marry me? You are crazy. You asked me to get married. I said a nice girl, not me, moron. Okay. What? Alex. What? Excuse me. Will you marry me? Marry you? Yes. Like, why would you just bore me to me and ask me if I'll marry you? Come on, you? I want you to marry. I'll need a woman to marry. Are you okay? Yes. I'm sorry, mother. Please, don't, don't marry me. What's wrong with you? I'm looking for a nice girl. Yeah, but not like this. Everybody's watching. Come on, you told me to get married. You know what? I changed my mind. Okay, don't get married. Are you sure? Let's go, let's go. What about the one over there? <laughs> no, let's go. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? All of them are schools. Cool. What, what, what do you mean? Everyone is gone. Okay. Does Natasha want to try me Yes, I came, I came and he also gone. So there are no kids? No, no, what, what, what do you mean? Uh, oh, oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, we are going to find her, okay? I promise we will find her. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have gone with you if something happens here. Listen, listen, nothing is going to happen. Listen, nothing is going to happen. Listen, nothing is going to happen to her, okay? I promise you, okay? Okay. It's my fault. I shouldn't have left her alone. Stop, stop crying, okay? Maybe we are going to find her. We'll I find don't want to hear anything from you, Alex. Come this on. is your fault that the lie is missing. Come on, control yourself, okay? You know what? I don't want to hear anything from you. Why did you even come, Alex? Why did you come? If anything happens to the lie, if anything happens to Stop the car, Alex, and let me get down. And don't follow me.
I thought I'd lost you. Where did you go? Nowhere. So how did you get home? Um, a woman dropped her. Where is she? She left. Hey, how many times have I told you not to go out to strangers? Oh no, she's not a stranger, she's my aunt. <laughs> Dad. I went nowhere because mom and uncle are next who left and auntie brought me home after dance class at school. I did even when everybody had left. But what if she comes to me? Okay, that I left. I don't understand why she's doing this. I don't know why she's trying to ruin our lives. I'm scared, baby. I'll die if only she dies. I hope I'm doing well. Doing well? I know that I can manage. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Hi, what's your profile? Welcome to my welcome. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, Alex. What? Mabel is here. I know. Lisa, could you give us a minute, please? Sure. Della is all right. I met her at home. Good for you. Alex, I know you're angry. And you have every right to. No, I'm not. She just showed me my place in your life. Come on, Alex, I think... Alex, I'm sorry. Okay? I said some things I shouldn't have said to you. And I'm sorry. I know you loved Della as if she were your own daughter. Please, Alex. I'm sorry, Alex. Come on. Alex. Come on, stop that. Come on. Did you stop that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs>
I don't think she means any harm to Della. Else, why would she drop her home? Why else is she hiding from us? Don't worry, uh, Miss Susan gave us a description of her. We are going to have a sketch and later we'll get to her. To go to school. I'm bored for. I know, baby. But you can go to school tomorrow. Your daddy comes home this evening. But I want to play. You can play with your toys. See, I'm speaking with Uncle. Don't be rude. Yeah? Don't play in their room. Don't be scared. Allow her to go to school. I've spoken with Miss Susan, and under no circumstance should they allow anyone to come for her. I know, but I prefer my husband comes before she goes back to school. Well, if you say so, uh, I guess I have to take my leave now. You take good care of yourself, and Della. Okay, thank you very much, and my regards to the wife. Okay, she'll be here. Thank you. And what do you want with my daughter? Why are you harassing my daughter? Listen, I have reported you to the police. If I should see you anywhere close to her, I shall have you arrested. And besides, who gave you the right to take her out without asking me? Who gave you that permission? Who the hell are you? I'm her mother. Della is my daughter. What do you mean, Della is your daughter? The child that you are a mother to. I carried nine months. Please, how is she doing? She's fine. Oh, thank God. And the baby? I'm sorry, we couldn't save the baby. You can go and see her now. Baby, why don't you give it another thought? I mean, I don't need a child right now. I am happy with you. I know. 
But listen, I draw strength from your love to make this decision. Trust me, we need this. Are you sure? Yes. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. I didn't come to take Della back. She belongs to you and always will. I only wanted to see her and see how she has grown. I'm really sorry for any inconvenience I have caused you. How am I to believe you are her real mother? I don't have any proof. Just look into my eyes and you will see the truth. And if you don't see it, I will understand. I will leave here very happy knowing that my daughter has you as a mother. Why then have you been meeting with her secretly? And why are you not coming here to tell me this? Because I was scared. Besides, what will I tell you? The same thing you are telling me now. You're right. The truth is, I wanted to go the moment I saw her. Why didn't you? I don't know what stopped me. Maybe it's the feeling of motherhood, or selfishness, or probably the sense of belonging. But don't worry. I'm going to leave as I came. Besides, Della might not even remember knowing someone like me when she grows up. And please do not tell her about me. I know I have caused you so much pain. I never would have come to your house. But the truth is, I'm leaving tomorrow. And I wanted to see her one more time. Um, I'm sorry I was rude to you. It's okay. In fact, I like that. It tells me that Della can never have a better mother than you. And I'm so happy she has you for a mother. Can you please forgive me if you can? Perhaps I would have done the same thing if I was in your position. Thank you. Thank you very much. I guess I will take my leave now. Wait. Wait. Please stay. Besides, you have to say a proper goodbye to Della, and I would love for my husband to meet you. Really, please, please don't say no. Thank you. Thank you so much. She's not Alex. She's telling the truth. I can see it in her eyes. So what's his name? Mr. Max. Oh, is he and a Mr. Yeah. I am Mr. Max. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> I will eat all the food. <laughs> That's such a nice dog. Yes. Just like your father. That's not my father. Really? Mm-hmm. Then who is he? Uncle Alex. Oh, okay. Hmm? I brought some food. I don't like food. Oh. Would you like some chocolate instead? Yay! <laughs> my baby will want some chocolates today. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have a daughter? Yes. 
and she is just. Where is she? Sitting right next to me. Come, Della. I know. My daughter is also called Della. Really? Why are you crying? <gasps> Nothing. I got you. Mom also cries when she hugs. Such a sweet little girl. <laughs> and Mr. Max is coming to get you. Can you get you? Can you get you? Can you get you? Can you get you? Can you Are you dead? I'm not dead. Oh, Mr. Max is beating me. No! She's her mother. It's blood. What is wrong with you? The two of you must be mad. How could she have known that we adopted a daughter? The orphanage wouldn't have told her who did. You know how all these adoption laws are. Come on, it doesn't look like she's lying. Are you listening to yourself? Why did you guys allow her into my house in the first place? Come on, Jeanette, for that you should ask your wife. Jeanette, there are certain Listen, 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 listen. Alex, I don't want to hear anything because the two of you are pissing me off. What is Alex saying? How would you let her close to our daughter? Relax, babes. Why don't you meet him first? Why would I? Why would you even believe whatever she says? She's an imposter and I want her out of my house now. Babes, please just hear me out, okay? Where's my daughter? Daddy! Hey, baby! Hey! How are you? Good. Where have you been? In the kitchen helping pants. Dada, I told you to always keep your hands clean. What is this? Mm. <laughs> Come here, I'll be clean up for you. I'm going to the kitchen. Anything, my everything is in that bag. I don't have. I will stop the bill. Hey, 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 hey. Um, please, do you have rooms available? I'm very sorry, there are no rooms available. No rooms available? No, please. Um, okay. Okay, um, if you don't mind, you can share my room with me. Listen, I am not going to do anything to you. I just want to help because you say you don't know anybody around. Okay. Oh, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Um, you can have the bed for tonight. So I will sleep in the chair. No, please. It's your room. You take the bed, I'll take the chair. <laughs> no, it's like. I've had the bed for some time now. 
you, you just spend the night. So just have it for tonight, okay? I'll, I'll be right here. All right? Sure? Yeah, it's fine. Just make yourself comfortable. I'll be right here, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Aren't you going to eat something yourself? I've had mine already. Thank you once again for everything. Thank me after you've seen the person you came to see in Accra. What? Did I say something wrong? No. <clears throat> Actually, the truth is, I didn't come to see anybody in Accra. I only came for sightseeing, to know Accra. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to say that you've never been to Accra before? You can spend the night. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, we are sure. Yay! Then come, let's go sleep in the room. <laughs> Trying to flirt. You don't even stand a chance. Please drop the Alex. Look at me. Please drop the lot of her extra classes for me. No, I'll go with Daddy and Auntie. You should come along too. Sorry, darling. She's leaving this morning. Okay. Some other time, okay? Great, then we will visit the zoo when you come. <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> 
What is it? Dad will now say he has forgotten the keys again. Then you give him a kiss. <laughs> I see. Why is she giggling? <laughs> I don't even know. I'll see you, babe. Alright. All right. Take care. Me too. Are you ready to go? Okay, so now let's go. Bye, Mom. Bye, darling. Hey, hey, I, uh, I am even happier to know that my daughter has the best dad and mom that anyone could ever have. Thank you so much. I have to go for an important meeting. I told you, I told you about my second book, right? Yes. Okay, I have an important meeting for that second book. Yeah, so I have to go. I have to run. You better look sharp. Come on, you know me. Yeah? All right, here. All right. See I'm going to call you. Okay. Come on, you're downstairs. Oh, Do you know the first edition of my book is sold out? And the second one is now in print. Well, that's how lucky I am. <laughs> you know, without me, you're lucky. Come on, are you the one who wrote the book? I am your luck. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about writing another one titled Martha. <laughs> Can you please cancel all my meetings for today? I'll be coming in late to the office. Thank you. Oh, and um, babes, can you please call the flights to the northern region and find out if they're leaving on time? I'm afraid Alex here is disturbing Pearl with too much talk and she might miss her flight. Come, come on, Pearl, am I disturbing you? Yes, um, please, what time does the flight leave for the north? Okay, thank you. Um, the flight has been delayed for two hours. So I'm going to tell you a story. What? Let me. Am I just saying that? Yes, you are. <laughs> She you know what? Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. Don't lie to me. You haven't looked at me since she got back. I said it's nothing. Your attitude changed when you saw Pearl. Do you know her? No. But the way you look at her... What do you expect? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What do you expect? Having a stranger in my house claiming she's the mother of my daughter? Are you, are you okay with her being around? I guess so. But babes, it's only because I want to know how she's feeling. Did she give you her address? No, she doesn't want to. She just is happy meeting with Della here. Besides, she's not coming back again.
Yes, I'm fine. I know you're not happy I allowed her to stay over. Oh, babes. Babes, she was only staying for a day. Besides, I wanted you to meet her. It's okay. I was just changing your head for the office. I didn't drop out of the airport. Pardon? Yeah. All right. Mm. Thank you. But try not to ask her too many questions that will make her feel uncomfortable. We don't know what she's been through. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 you got it. You know, um, that's a great idea. Yeah. But can you make the inquiries again? It's almost time. Oh, Julian will drop you then. Okay, thanks. Okay. Alpha flight to the northern region. Really? But I thought it was delayed by two hours. Okay, thank you. Um, the flight has been delayed for another two hours. Great. Great, great. You know, you can continue traveling and then uh, stay for a few days. No, you don't even know what his schedule is like. Come on, you can stay for just today, okay? Julian will mind and I don't think she will mind, will you? Of course not. Listen, Pearl, you're welcome to stay here as long as you want. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to take you around the city and then have dinner at my place. Mm -hmm. Alex, you haven't even asked her what she likes. Madam Pell, what do you want? Um, well, someone has already shown me around town before, so since I'm going to spend a day here, I might as well go buy some books. That's great. Yes, I'm going to take you to the finest bookshop in town. Yes. <laughs> and I'm off to the office. Oh, babe. Huh? Hey. Huh? I should follow this up. Oh, oh, sorry. Wow. I gave Mabel the first copy of this edition, and I'm giving you the last. Okay, yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. Okay, then um, I will be at the restaurant across the street. Okay, I'll join you later. All right. All I didn't mean to startle you. It's okay. I was expecting you here. Have a seat. Thank you. Where is that from? I'm sorry I lied about your flight. But when I saw you, there were so many questions I want to ask you. It's okay. I also wanted to talk to you. She is our daughter, your biological daughter. But you... I didn't get married. Thank you, 
Julian. Hey, Alex. What are you doing here? <laughs> you know, I, I was... I came to get some books and I saw her sitting here, so I decided to say hello. That's all. You buy books. If I didn't know you, I would have suspected something is fishy. Well, something is fishy here. <laughs> um, guys, will anybody ask me if there is something fishy? <laughs> you know what, guys? I've, I'm going back to the office. I'll see you guys later. Yeah? You're coming for dinner, right? Uh, let's see how the day goes. No excuse. You're coming. All right, cool. I'll come. All right. I'll see you. Take, <laughs> Take care. care. All right. <laughs> I see that. I see that. Dad, let's huh? go see this dad. Right now? Yes, right now. Are you serious? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's Are you blind? I see this one. <laughs> Show me. Wait. This one, this one, this one. This one. Look here. This one. Look, this one. No. <laughs> look here. I see, I see. I see. You want to make a wish? Uh, don't tell us. In your head. Hmm. Hmm. I'm done. What did you wish for? Barbie doll? <laughs> no. What about this one? Which one? This one. Mm. This one? No, 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 this, this one. one. No. That's not my style. This, this one. one. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, oh, that, that was big. Which one? Tell me, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I want to tell you. You want to tell me? No. Okay, well, I'm not going to watch this class. Oh, Dad. Yeah. No. It, you can't bring this out. I can do it. No. Daddy has to put out. No. Okay, let me command the star to come down. <laughs> What's the star? Really? Uh huh. In his face. Stella, you can't your phone, come inside. Oh, Mama, I can't believe you can't come inside. You can come to You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you in here? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm thinking of leaving with the money flight. Why don't you stay for a few more days? The more I stay, the more it becomes difficult for me to leave. Will leaving make things easier? No. But will staying make it any easier? The last time we met, we left without a word. And you're about to repeat the same mistake again. If you had stayed, I don't think our lives would be like this. After you left for months, I kept looking for you. Can you hear me? I would visit all the places we went in the hope that Everything I would see you. Has come I kept this hope of seeing you, but you never the came love back. We shared and the happiness we heard. Give me you, all I miss you. Months went by, yet I couldn't take you. It was then I realized I fell in love. Yes, I fell in love with you. But then I remembered you told me you were about to get married. And that was why you left. So I figured you had moved on. Do you still love me? I think it's getting late and I have to go back inside. I'll be leaving tomorrow morning.
Why don't you stay a little bit longer? This way you get to know the lab better. <coughs> okay. Good. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Come on, you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. You hardly spent time with me. For Christ's sake, what are you saying? What am I saying? Do you give me the attention you give me, Abel? No, no, no. Don't go there. Don't! Why? Why shouldn't I? For Christ's sake, I am your woman. At least show me that. Lisa, what do you want me to do? I see the way you look at her. The way you treat her. She is married. And she's never going to be yours. Never. Wake up from that job. Wake up. Lisa. Oh. Sweet. Wherever you are, are you ready? Yes. I'm, I'm coming. coming. Okay. I'm coming to get you. I can hear somebody laughing. Where is she? No, where? You were here. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. Where are you? Yeah, you got <laughs> All right. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, wherever you are. Hi guys. Hi, Hi princess. <laughs> How are you doing? No, 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 no. Guys, listen. Um, there is this invitation for this party tonight, and we are all invited. What dress should I wear? No, no, come on. This is an adult party. I hate adult ah, party. Come on, I know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think I can make it, but you can go with them if you want to. Me neither, Alex. I'm frustrated, I'm sorry. What about you, Pearl? Come on, Pearl, what do you think? <laughs> Alright, then, settle then. Um, I'll pick you up in the evening, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, then I'll be on my way to work. And I have my case, thank you very much. All right. I'll see you guys later, yeah? Alright. Um, Babe? Oh. Sorry. What's with your memory these days? I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Yes, okay. dear. I have to go to work now. Oh, <laughs> I'll see you. Pella, I'll see you, okay? I'll pick you up in the evening. I hope you enjoyed the party. Of course I did. You actually made my night. Okay, I'm glad I could make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Julian. Hi, hey guys. Still awake? Yeah, I just came out for some fresh air. Okay, then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Okay. Julian, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, good night. Oh, Alex. Go straight home. <laughs> Come on, my night just started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you guys tomorrow. Okay. All right. <laughs> Um, I'll be inside. Why are you always running away from me? First you left without a word and I still haven't forgiven myself. Please don't say that. I am equally responsible for what happened. But, but why did you leave without saying a word or where to find you? Why? If I had known this would have happened, I wouldn't have left without speaking to you. That one day I spent with you was the most happiest day of my life. And I'm so not sure if it was a dream or reality. I badly wanted to wake you up and talk to you, but I was afraid. What was I going to tell you? That I have fallen in love with you just by spending a day with you? And besides, I was getting married soon, so I left with your memories in my heart. 
For days, my father wasn't talking to me after I went back. He never wanted me to come to Accra in the first place. After some few weeks, he finally spoke to me. Your wedding date is set. Are you happy? Anything to make you happy, father. It's been a while I saw this smile on your face. Or did you leave it in Accra? I'm sorry, Father. It's all right. It's all right. You know you are the only daughter I have. What if something had happened to you? Sorry. shame to my name. Who is responsible for your pregnancy? Father, I don't know him. Wait, what's the meaning of that? Are you saying you don't know the man who impregnated you? What did I lack in bringing you up? I cared for you. I suffered for you. I acted as your mother the same time as your father. Is that the way to pay me? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I can't face anyone anymore. Just know that you've killed your father. Please, please, I'm sorry. You cannot have this baby. You have to abort it. No, Auntie, no. I won't abort my baby. A baby without your father. He has a father. I fell in love with him and that's why I allowed him to touch me. What has come over you, my baby? Love, Auntie. Love. And if I am not going to have the father of this baby, I can't lose this baby either. It's the only thing I have of him. Your father will disown you. Yet his blood will still run through my veins. And that is something he cannot change. <laughs> I felt like the ground was pulled under my feet. I wanted to leave everything and come looking for you, but I couldn't master the courage. I was afraid. What will I say to you? What if you don't believe me? What if you don't love me? With Della in my womb, I kept thinking about you every moment. Where are you? Do you even love me as I have loved you? My father sent me to the village to give birth without anybody knowing. After I gave birth, I couldn't even see my baby girl. She was taken away from me.
My father wanted me to marry again. But your memories won't allow me. Ah, so I traveled to Canada and returned when I heard my dad had passed on. My auntie gave me the address to the orphanage to which she took Della. It was really tough getting information from them. But eventually, I got your address. You know, it's funny how you would go through all of this where a man just spent a day with you. The same reason you went a month looking for a woman you spent a day with. You've gone through a lot for me and I've done nothing for you. I never stop loving you. And not a day goes. That's all I wanted to hear. Well, mother. And I will leave here well, a very happy woman. Well, not me, I want to be the one in the sun Girls, they want to have fun oh, Juliet! Baby, baby, please, baby, please let me explain Explain what, Julian? Explain what? Hear me out. You can imagine the pain she's been through. So you were using your lips to dry her tears, right? No, this is not what you think. It's not what I think? It's not what I think? I have been a fool all these days not to have noticed this bullshit going on in my house. I need out of this house right now. Baby, babe, wait. Go of me, Julian. She's going to leave and not like this. How is she going to leave and not like this? No woman. Who sleeps with a married man deserves my respect. She Julia. deserves every respect we need to give her. Because? Why? Is it because she's the less mother? Is it because she's the less mother, Julian? No. Because, Della, I'm the less manager of her. Been having, you've been having an affair with her for the past seven years? Believe me, when I met her, I had not met Oh, shut up! I have had enough of your fucking lies! Hello? Can you hear me? Give me you. Everything else can wait. The love we share. And the happiness we have Give me you Maybe Maybe please, I am sorry Please don't go It's my fault Let me be the one to leave this place Not you, I'm sorry
They were having an affair. They had a baby and left it at the orphanage. And as stupid as I was, I adopted this baby. The next, I gave up everything for him. And he took everything away from me. Alex, it's, it's not what you think. Alex, will you let me explain? Explain what? What do you want to explain? How do you explain to a woman who sacrificed her life for you? A woman who can never be a mother because of you. Kill me. I'm going to stop you. Alex! Who is your mom? You want to be a little bit of a woman? You want to be a little bit of a woman? Yo, Alex, I'm not let you stand there! What are you going to do? Oh, you do. Please stop it. You. 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 What do you mean, sister? What do you mean here? What happened between she and Jane? You know it's true. Oh. So it is now an opportunity for you to bring her over, right? Come on, what are you saying? You just have to say you are in love with her. You just don't want to admit it. I know the door you have, and what I am telling you is the truth. Look, I don't care what you think, okay? This is my house, and I decide who stays. And if you think I am going to give her that opportunity, then you need to do anything. You think that it's an opportunity for you to love? Do the house of my wife, and you must be joking! And if you think she's coming back to you, then you're an idiot! Why is dying? Hello, Doc. Hey, Mabel. How's Julian? Oh, Julian is good. Thank you. I asked you to come along. Oh, it's fine. You know, should I leave you guys? No, stay. Yeah, of course. Stop really, you can say anything you want to say for them. Mabel, you are sick. Very sick. 
What is it? You have a name here. What is that? It's cancer of the blood. You are dying. What do you mean she's dying? Don't you have any cure? I'm sorry. There's no cure. You have to tell Julian. I don't want to. I don't want to break him before he dies. Alex, I don't want to push him through this pain. I shouldn't tell him this. But he has the right to know. Alex, you need to promise me that you're not going to let him know. Me, Alex. No, I can't be no. Alex! <laughs> Listen, I want to dedicate this short period of my life in giving him all the happiness that he deserves. Please don't take this away from me. <laughs> If he should find out, it will be the end of him and it's my daughter who will suffer. So what happens to her after you are gone? She has his love. He would shower her with all the love, but until then, I don't want to take away this happiness from them. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand, Alex? I have come to take you home. My home is not with you. The house is not complete without you. Well, you should have thought about that before you decided to cheat on me. I have never cheated on you. Not for once. Pearl was my past before I met you. And you expect me to believe that? Julian, I saw you kiss her. Was that in your past too? That was one of your weakest moments. Weakest? Listen to yourself, weakest moment, and how many weak moments have you had since you moved into the house? How many? I've seen the way you two look at each other. I know for a fact that you're sleeping with her. Baby, believe me. Well, I don't, Julian, I don't. My lawyer will send you the divorce please. I know you're sick, and I've come to take you home. Spend the rest of your life with us. I can't come back to you. I can't go home. I know you're angry at me. I know you want to punish me. But don't punish Della for my mistakes. She's your daughter. She is not my daughter! Her mother is with you now. The circle is complete. Baby, don't destroy her. You destroyed this, Julian! You destroyed it the moment you decided to make a fool out of me! You destroyed my life! I love you. Well, I don't believe you. Look me in the eye and tell me you still don't love her. Tell me you still don't love her. What does it matter if I love her? Tell me you still don't love her! I don't love her. I have my answer. 
Reaper. 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 Where is Stella? I haven't seen her since morning. I've taken her to my parents until all this is over. Oh, okay. I want you to know that I'm going to be leaving tomorrow. Oh. So you're also leaving? My staying here has spoken your family. Sorry, I've given you nothing but sorry. No. You have given me love. I may not be with you now, but I know I am always going to be in here. And that is enough for me. Oh. I may have lost. For me, I have won. I'm my daughter, and I know you love me as much as I love you, and that is enough for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I could change everything. Give me you. All I want is you. Our day Talk to him back. What do you mean? Miss Pearl Roberts, or should I say Mrs. Pearl Tete? Mabel. Mabel, I know I have hurt you. And I didn't come here expecting you to forgive me. I had no idea that Julian lived. Oh, please, Pearl. You had a child with a man, and you didn't know where he lived? I didn't even know his name. How was I supposed to know where he lived? Are you asking me? Do you know what they call a woman who has a child without knowing who the father of the child is? Oh, a cheap whore. Like Alex said, I am nothing but a cheap whore. What kind of woman sleeps with a man that she just met for a day? Only a cheap hole. What kind of woman walks into a married woman's house with a child and tries to break their happy home? Only a cheap hole. So Alex, you're right. I am nothing but a cheap hole. And Mabel, Horns do not have a home. So please do not leave your home for a whore like me. I may have lost your trust, but I came here with a hope of you forgiving me. Because you are a woman and a mother too. I felt so happy when I saw you and Della together. I was so happy that she had found a mother that is better than me. I really wanted to go. But I just couldn't control myself when I saw Julian. Because 
because he is the only man I have ever loved. But I realize that you are his world. You have built a beautiful world and I do not have a place in that world. <laughs> when you walked out that door, I started having hopes. Perhaps, I mean, perhaps it's God's way of justice. <laughs> because you have had your fair share of happiness. So I thought it was my time to be happy. But no, nothing belongs to me. I cannot stay in the world that you built. I do not belong in it. That night, that night that you saw the two of us together, it was just a weak moment between us. Nothing happened after that. I swear to you, nothing. Julian could have done anything and I would have gladly agreed to it. But he would never cheat on you because of the respect that he has for you. Mabel, please, I am begging you. Do not destroy a beautiful world that you have spent so much time to build. Please return home. Even if not for Julian, but for the love that you have for Della. And I am begging you. Please forgive me. I am sorry. Truly sorry. I'm coming back, Aunt. What do you mean you are coming back? How can I forget him? How is Della? How does she look? I remember she had eyes. It's just like yours. Yes. But everything else is like Julian. I found the happiness of a lifetime these few days and... I don't want to leave her again. Then don't leave. No, and... What is Julian saying? Is he not stopping you? What can he say? I just can't bear to see his sorrows. What about your sorrows? What sorrows, aunt? I have found everything. My sweet little girl. And an angel-like man. And they are so happy. Who are you trying to fool? What do you get in the end? And look, now that you are there, don't leave. You may not get this opportunity again. How can you say that? You are asking me to break a happy home. And you think I'm going to be happy if I do that? No. <sighs> I broke my house once. I am not going to break another person home. I will not do that, no. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have agreed to your father's ideas. It's not your fault. It's my destiny. I'm leaving. Please bring back Mabel.
Will I see you again? No. Goodbye, Julian. Pearl. Yes, that we've been married. He's been the best husband anyone could ever ask for. But I always felt there was something you were looking for. When I asked you to look into my eyes and tell me you didn't love her, you gave me the answer I've been looking for all these years. I was so angry with you for coming into my house and trying to steal my man from me. But the truth is, you've always belonged here. The man I thought you were trying to take away from me. Destiny is rather taking me away from him. You're right. Maybe this is God's way of doing justice. I have had my fair share of happiness with Julian, and maybe it's your turn now. Life is strange, isn't it? Just when I was about to leave you all alone in this world, Destiny brought her back to you. I can die happily now knowing that there's someone who can make you as happy as I try to. Goodbye, Drew. Oh. Thank you, I am so sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I know. But I want to spend the rest of my life exploring the world. Don't try and stop me. Maybe I'll. Tell. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for myself. I wish there was another way. This is the only way. Just promise me that you take care of Della. I will. And Julian as well. Oh. Hello. Can you hear me? Give me you, everything else can wait. The love we share and the happiness we have. Give me you, all I want is you. Can we talk? You know, I understand you. I really do. 
because your position out of the world is done. Everything has come with the love we share. I have a new year. And the happiness we have. And I. Give me you. I want this you. All the attention Alex has been giving me is because of this. I have a year or two, Max. He's just my best friend and nothing more, Lisa. We've been friends since childhood. You know, I remember once when we were kids, I was so hungry and there was no food to eat. And then he actually climbed the neighbor's mango tree and when he was caught, he said he was exercising. <laughs> that's the kind of person he is. He's been there for me and that's what he's doing, Lisa. Alex loves you, but he doesn't know how to show it. Besides, you know how bad it is with women. At least, when I'm gone, you can... You can take my clothes. Okay, I have to get going. It's late. <laughs> yes, Alex. I don't want to be on my sick bed and regret not taking the step. I want to see the world. But don't worry, I would. Gladly come and die in your arms. I'm not so clear. Hey, are you crying? Is this what you're going to do when I'm gone? Listen. Thank you for being the best, best friend. Lisa. I don't know what to say. But I'm sorry for being an ass. And thank you for everything. I need you to take your car next to me. Come here. Okay, you people are being too emotional for me. I have to go. Okay. 